Before the video starts, I would like to inform you that 97.8% of you viewers out there are not subscribed. Seriously. So, if you enjoy the content, please subscribe. Now, roll the intro. Huh? Whoa! Welcome to the Nostalgic Multiverse. Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Nostalgic Multiverse. Let's get into Mini Views Episode 9. First up, we have a plush of the splendid red bastard James. And he's way too chunky. I'm telling you right now. Look at this boy. He's really chunky. But in any case, uh, the detail is nice. I do like that he has his tender wheels and his driving wheels. Along with the pony truck in front. His face is okay at best. Uh, the wheels, uh, the whistle and windows are fine, even his dome. And, uh, the coal is, is just fur. Why? <laughs> the inside of this thing feels like cardboard. I tell you that. Uh, but still, pretty good model. Has good detail, I will say. But, but the face and the fact that this thing is way too chunky makes this a very funny model. <laughs> okay, getting back to some professionalism here. I had gotten a bundle of Thomas stuff. More specifically, the diecasts. The versions that I love to collect of these guys. I got Victor, Salty, Percy, and of course, Thomas. I also got this Brendam Docks Taken Place set. And Farmer McCall's Farm. Now, let's get in the... Um, Victor and Salty are the only take-and-play models in this bundle. And Victor looks to be in very good condition, more so than the one that I already own. And I'm, I'm saying this now, this will be the replacement for the replacement that I had. Um, you know, the adventures, Victor. And this... Salty is going to be replacing a Salty that is already in my collection. And uh, as for Thomas and Percy, there's nothing much to say on these guys. I, I, I can't even begin to say how much uh, I find of these guys. Just normal take-alongs of Percy and Thomas. The iconic duo of best friends and... Well, business partners from the Railway series. But moving on to the Taken Play sets. Next, we have Cranky at Brendam Docks. And, well, just open this up and raise this boy up to the sky. Holy shit. Here we go. Okay, so this is a good set. I'm, I'm saying it now, it's a good set. Uh, the fact that Cranky is at length, he's very tall. But if you want to adjust him to his normal height, you can. All you have to do is just compress him down and make sure you get the only part half up. And then you have Cranky as he is. But if you want him to have an extender, then go ahead... Extend them for all I care. <laughs> now we have Farmer McCall's farm. And oh my god. I can't believe I have one of these fold-out sets. At long last. I, I, I'm telling you right now. I have never had one of these. Just let's, let's open this baby up. Ooh, that feels satisfying. So here it is. But the fact that there's a shed here does not make sense. What, what kind of medieval bullshit is this? In any case, it, um, I, I think that the way someone is supposed to attach this here is if it was a siding. But then again, the trucks would crash onto the tracks. So that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. 
You may be asking me, is this some kind of joke? Nope. This is a Lego Daphne that I got. And no, I did not get it as a late birthday gift. And, I, okay, the, the James plush, as well as the, as the take and play sets, the take along and take and play trains, I got them yesterday from the car boot sales. Same with Daphne. I got her for free. I got this Lego Daphne for free. And considering how much Scooby-Doo has changed thanks to that new Velma show, I can appreciate this Daphne. I mean, the orange hair color, the good old style face. Also, the fact that she has an alternative face, that makes her scared. The detail on this is impeccable. Like, for example, the green ascot and even more so the skirt and the shoes. Love the purple color scheme. And I love the hair, too. So, yeah, all around, Daphne is a great minifigure. But we're not done yet. Lastly, for this episode of Mini Views, I got a buildable Tails. Last time, I had gotten a buildable Sonic. And this is going to make a great addition into my collection. So, with that out of the way, let's do it. Here we have Tails out of his packaging, and like Sonic from before, he cannot stand without arms. So let's just pop the arms into this guy like usual. First we got his wrench hand. Come on already, get, get in there. Freaking, come on. Finally. And we just get another arm, just like in his promotional art on the back of the box. So, here's Tails, all built up. And like Sonic from before, he can only stand with his arms on. I, I do not understand it either. Why is it that these figures cannot stand without their arms? For crying out loud, just make them stand without their arms first before we give them the damn arms. <laughs> Ran over with. But still, he looks great with, with the wrench. Let's see how he looks with the ring. Okay, he looks good with the ring. Nice. Let's see how he is with the other arm. Okay, he looks pretty good, but I, I think I am going to keep him as he is from his promotional art on the back of the box with his arm down. And his wrench in his hand. Because I left Sonic that way in a cabinet. And now that I have Tails, I will put him alongside Sonic in the cabinet. But with that, that is going to do it for the ninth episode of Mini Views. I thank you all very much for watching and for supporting me on the channel for a few months now. I, I cannot thank you enough. Uh, sorry about the doorbell. But again, thank you very much for watching. And have a good one.